was a pleasure for the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung having representatives from the Ministry of Labor, from the Rwandan Trade Union Movement and also from the private sector today with us for the launch of the new comic book on SDG 8, the eight labor core conventions of the ILO and on the most important Rwandan labor laws. So bringing this diverse audience together is contributing to social dialogue, which is needed all over the world. We have a very uh, short program, but an interesting one, I believe. We'll have a presentation on the comic book. We are delighted to be with us today with uh, Jordi Michel Mussoni, who played a noble role in putting together the content for the comic book, Our Eight. We are also delighted to be with us with uh, Chris Rutaisire, the cartoonist, who has put together the beautiful drawings that you have seen in the comic book. Also with us, I want to recognize the presence of all of you. I'm here um, as the one who has worked on this comic book, but also I'm representing Sestra. Sestra as a Rwanda Workers Trade Union Confederation, as the Deputy General Secretary. So um, I'm going to take a few minutes to just uh, present about the comic book. Um, I know that you are already in position of something. Uh, I wanted to welcome um, Sandra uh, for our next uh, important and, and interesting session uh, on the importance of social dialogue and tripartism uh, in the current development trends. And then, Sandra, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. So to discuss um, the, the importance of social dialogue and, and, and tripartism, the role that tripartism plays in that, in the current development trends, we have today very important people. They were announced, so we'll just call them to join me on the, on the, uh, on the stage. Iyi metodoloji iyi very friendly. Neka ita neza kujita kuto mika. Tuge kwa shi tiri dairo. Let's look for means and resources. And the means you can do this. Nawa. Aiko. They take chapter by chapter. Today the SDGs of Gaza kona wata zizi. Kuris questions specific. Then you must get dairo. Aiko research na ibaji. Mundi biya kazi. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really want to raise the appreciation. I reiterate because I've already talked to Jean-Claude that we really need to collaborate as a ministry, we need to collaborate with the AFS and see how we can disseminate these books to uh, many practitioners in this sector. Uh, coming back to social dialogue, how we are doing this, yeah, I think in the, uh, in the recent years, let me start with the maybe 2017, because that's where we now we have a new version of creating 1.5 million productive and decent jobs. So when you talk of productive and decent jobs, it is well drawn from SDG 8. And that's where you see every social partner. When I say social partners, I'm talking about government. Uh, I'm talking about government partners. Those are private sector, trade unions, and civil society. Because uh, before we had, uh, we had been trying to do more jobs, more jobs, create more and more and more. But now we are now dealing with more and better jobs. So look at quantity and quality, because those are the key uh, decent work indicators. Maybe we can, uh, can also think about donating this book in universities and even in career centers or even youth centers so that young people can be prepared to know their rights even they join before they join the workplace. Thank you. I would like to, to know what's the, you know, the policy the, in the role of the private sector when you talk about social dialogue. Well, sometimes when you meet sister and you meet me for training, 
the level of social dialogue. Social dialogue normally is not done to tie them, it's done across the place. Do you have any policy where those employers, especially in uh, it's, it's like the informal sector, although it's not informal, when you talk to the schools, private schools, when you talk to the uh, like uh, security companies, where even the people are working without having even contracts. I don't know if you have this kind of policy that uh, from grassroots, you know, the employers have uh, known this kind of Great, thank you so much for your contributions. Well, going back to the private sector, we do appreciate um, the dialogue, the tripartite uh, uh, way of handling things, uh, because um, at private sector federation, their work is to advocate for the private operators. So getting uh, a hand from the Ministry of Labor or any other organization that would support them uh, to uh, eradicate some challenges that are existing in two private sector operators is very important. Uh, we do appreciate the labor law that is existing because it gives at least uh, 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 an employer and uh, the employee uh, how to collaborate and the safer uh, ways they should be respecting for the worker to work and uh, anything related to uh, the safety uh, ways of or how uh, an employer should be working. Icha tinzeho nuko la story. Kwa story kwa kumbwa kuchira mo vito piki vita tu tu kwa kuchira mo muru imwe iko makuu imwe riko imwe ya aspect sio sasa tu arizo. I look for conventions, uh, eight Rwandan labor laws, nice DG8. Hanyuma, just have flexibility, chane, um, makui hanga na chane. Muga sanga na kose ibi no vitaba ho. Muri story, muga sanga matiyo me technique, yo muri yo field na vanya metriza. Ya ariko Jordi ya kuzuka shawe turabji mfika na watu ya yaza guhuri za hangi Hangi na FES ya duha ya wani mba Mwumfa na langaji kunu Nibi vini vi janyu na matuki ya vuyu mwono Uza yusoma I'm very thankful on behalf of Sestra Sestra is a Rwanda Trade Union workers organization, it's a confederation, it's like an umbrella of trade unions in Rwanda. Uh, it's very thankful because uh, this tool will help our trade unions, our members uh, to, to disseminate this information, to help to raise awareness about SDG 8 and um, uh, ILO core conventions and the uh, Rwanda labor law. So uh, FES has done it well and uh, through our continuing uh, collaboration, uh, this will help us um, achieve or at least do our role in raising awareness of SDG 8 and facilitate its implementation in Rwanda.